Sheriff, what do you think of the uh, Illinois State Police decision to reopen the Tammy Zawicki case from LaSalle County, uh, the murder from 25 years ago, and uh, do you think it could be related to Larry Hall? There's always a possibility. You know, there was a, uh, a case that uh, you just brought to me from Chester, Illinois, and it surely ties in together. The, the biggest thing that we got to do here is, is even though it's 25 years later, we have to have closure for the family because this kind of stuff eats away at families, shortens lives, and it's something that they think about every single day. And the Chester case, uh, Sheriff, that you were uh, referring to, that's the death, of, or that's the mi missing persons case of Paulette Webster uh, and uh, her uh, parents are, are Mary Webster and William Webster are still left wondering whatever happened to their 19 year old daughter. That's, that is correct. And you know, that's, that's what the biggest issue is with a lot of these cases is coming to closure, even though it's 25 years later and you think that people have moved on. No, they haven't. And especially family members, this, you know, this is the kind of thing that eats away at you every single day of your life. And in your own efforts to uh, link Larry Hall to the death of uh, the woman from Summerfield, uh, Lolly Chavez, uh, that you had great hopes for that. And then it, it and I would imagine you still feel he is linked to that. Oh, I definitely do. And it's just coming up with the evidence. You know, you have to come up with the evidence or relevant and reliable witness testimony. And, you know, as you go on in years, people pass away, things go away. So it's got to be evidence now that will solve this case. And the DNA didn't rule him out and it didn't rule him in in the uh, death of Lolly Chavez. Is that right? That's the best thing about it is it did not rule him out or it did not rule him in. So there is some hope with technology that one day we can solve this case.